rather than Bruce Bowen, who led the league this year in three-point field goal percentage. O'Neal, the one-hander over Robinson, a little too hard. Ori, nice job of running Duncan with a steal. Coast to coast for Ori. Robinson clears off the. That was his game. It's not. It's no longer his game. Ori, the three rims out. When he receives it with one foot in the paint, you can almost count it. And watch when he receives it outside the paint. Ori laid up the pass for O'Neal. Wave it off. Three-second violation. <laughs> and didn't think you would make much of an impact on the boards. And when you're a power forward in this team, you got to help Shaq on the boards. Shaq, a little fade in the lane, and Rose with a rebound. Claxton, baseline jumper way off. Shaw ahead to Kobe Bryant. One-on-one -on -one with Bowen. Tried to go behind the back, and the ball came up loose. And that's got to be a foul on the Lakers. David Robinson clearly had possession. So Kobe will have three now. Wait. wait. They're going to... I don't know if they've assigned this foul. They're and changing the foul to Brian Shaw. Joe, Joe Crawford said, my mistake, we're changing it to Brian Shaw, number 20. <laughs> Those two are both breathing easier. 8.35 remaining in the half. You take a look at the last foul, and it's Shaw right there on Robinson. 33-29. Oh look out. <laughs> Those threes start falling, then you pump fake the pass and quick the layup right by Shaq's face. Margo gets it right back into Shaquille, trying to go baseline. Ball was loose, and Vadenko keeps it alive. Got to... I just should stay away myself. And Vadenko on the baseline, off the mark. Offensive foul, Lakers. But I'm scoring back in your face as well. And Videnko over Duncan. Duncan got the rebound, and he'll lead the break. Look at this. Give it up. Give look it out. Up. Look out. <laughs> got it to Rose. And Rose got the bucket. Eighth game in the entire series to date. He had one tie in the first half. O'Neal trying to find the handle. Robinson. He was standing out of bounds. bounds there. Boy. Shaq is such a phenomenal offensive rebounder. And David Robinson had perfect position. Shaq just quicker to the ball, up and over the top. And he got a firecracker when he came down, <laughs> didn't he? Because he was gone going to get that offensive rebound. He sure rebound. was. And now a block shot by Duncan. Who are running underneath shooters and falling on their backside. Whoa. Oh, an overthrow trying to get it to Shaq, and it goes straight to David Robinson. And give some credit to Bruce. Prefers to have a defender right there. The wide open shots are the hardest ones to make. He spreads the Spurs lead back to six as Shaq goes baseline. Too strong. Duncan the rebound. Move it around to George for three. And Shaquille has the rebound. <laughs> Ori, right, three. Still can't get one to go. This Duncan can rebound. You couldn't pick two for 38 in the playoffs. I mean, these are clean looks and just long. He's missed them long. He's missed them short, right, left, backboard. The lead swells to seven. Under three minutes in the third quarter. Medvedenko going baseline on Duncan. Four on the shot clock. Fisher hits the deck. Throws it up. Nope. It didn't hit the rim. And it's a shot clock violation. Biggest of the night. Lakers need some offense here in the final minute and a half of the third. Medvedenko trying to give them some. Danny Ferry, they're starting to boo their beloved Lakers. Time is running out. Kobe Bryant trying to go underneath. Blocked by Duncan. Draw, dish, getting the open shots for the Lakers. are getting shots with hands in their face. End of a rain. Let's check in with Jim Gray. All right. Thank you very much, Brad. Jack, how disappointing is this for you? Well, it's heartbreaking for me, but we've had a great ride with the Lakers. They're a great ball club. It's one of the great runs in the history of sport. San Antonio played great tonight. Best teams win seven game series. Good officials tonight for a change. <laughs> Always like it when Joey and Dick are here, but hats off to the Lakers. They're a great champion. They deserve everything. That's why all these people are still standing up for them. It's heartbreaking, but we're here. What do you think the difference was in this series, Jack? They're done.
They're playing the game, and Jack wants to watch the rest of the season. <laughs> so we wind down the final two, 220. Okay, go ahead, Jack. Tim Buckin and David Robinson. All right, thanks a lot. First, David, unbelievable. It looked for a minute there like retirement was going to come earlier than you thought, and you're going to be playing some more. Your thoughts right now on beating the three-time defending champions? Uh, unbelievable. They, they, they've been great champions. They've been so dominant. They've got two of the best players in the league and uh, really took a great team effort. We're proud of ourselves. It's, it's a great hill for us to climb. Still got a lot of work left to do, but, but boy, this is a big one for us. It's been an unusual series for you in that you've had games where you've fouled out scoreless and you've had games where you've been an enormous difference. How has that been for you, David? It's hard, you know, playing 14, 15, 17, whatever minutes a game, whatever, but, I, you know, I contribute in there on that floor when i get in there i just want to win games i don't care you know i guard shack i do whatever i need to do and you know next series we might use me different just like we did in phoenix so who knows congratulations we're looking forward to seeing you either against sacramento or dallas i don't suppose you have a preference there it matters not we're hey, we're just excited to be moving to that next level all right thank you david we'll go to your teammate tim duncan mvp of the nba regular season and tim you said we got to close it out tonight here at staples center and you backed it up with the kind of performance that was necessary. How did you come up with that kind of performance? Uh, knew they were come out here with this home crowd and give a great effort. Uh, they want to push it to seven. These guys have been to, uh, had so much experience the last three years. We didn't want to take it to seven with these guys. We wanted them to finish it tonight. And the fourth quarter has been a bit of a bugaboo for this team in this series, and really, according to Greg Popovich, all season long. But tonight, the fourth quarter was spectacular for you guys. What was the difference? Uh, Tony Parker took over. He, he really got in the middle of that thing and uh, hit a couple floaters, got some guys open. Uh, they had to get into, that, uh, get into the paint a little bit. He found shooters, shooters knocked out shots. It was just a good quarter for us. And not only did he take over, you really took over. You went straight at Shaq, attacked him, and really gave the rest of your team confidence that if you can do that, surely they can handle their assignments. What was going through your mind as you took on the big man? Uh, he's done a great job with me all series long, and uh, um, I've been kind of fading away from him a little bit. And uh, we watched some film yesterday before coming in here. Uh, knew we'd have some time on him where he'd guard me, and uh, just wanted to attack him, just want to get him back. It's amazing Tony Parker has done what he's done, given he's the youngest starting point guard in the league at just 20. How much do you think he's grown up in this series? He's grown up so much. He's uh, he's taken he's taken a lot of a lot of crap from a lot of different people. He's. Uh, uh, hadn't played well, he played well, uh, but he's, he's kept with it. He's, he's kept his head up, and uh, he's really stayed with us. Dallas and Sacramento, you split, I believe, with, let's see, you went 2-2 two and two against Dallas, 3-1 and one versus Sacramento. It would seem then you'd want to play Sacramento, but as David said, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We have no control over that, so we'll be ready for whoever comes out of it. Congratulations, Tim Duncan. A marvelous, marvelous win, and you're going on to the Western Conference Finals. Thank you. All right, let's send it back to